It's not the work on the stage or the show on the stage that, um, that equals the power of God. We can work at creating a show, a program, a, an event on the stage that you watch that creates what I call warm fuzzies. Okay? It feels good. It's nice. We all walk away feeling warm and fuzzy about it. Right? We can, you know, we can tell stories that make you cry. We can tell stories. We can have people come on and give stories that inspire you. We can create moments that make you feel. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with those necessarily. What I'm saying is that where we are as a church family, we actually work really hard not to do those things. And the reason we work so hard not to do those things is so you know that it didn't happen on a stage that was the Spirit of God inside of you. Well, why don't we do a, this kind of a, a candle like this, or why don't we do a whatever kind of that? We do everything we can to avoid warm fuzzies. Now, if God wants us to have a candlelight service next week, we will. Right? If God wants us to bring up stories, and there's no reason we shouldn't tell stories. We ought to tell stories. There's no reason we shouldn't tell stories. If God wants us to tell stories after story after story last next week, and they all make you cry, then that's what we're going to do. But we're not going to tell stories just to make you cry. Does it make sense to you? We're not going to tell stories just to um, get you to have a response to the stories. You do know that if we have a lot of children in our church, right? Lots of kids. And you know if we every so often brought the children out, they, they were going to sing a little song every Sunday. You know if we had the children singing next time we'd be packed out, right? Right? Okay. Now, nothing wrong with that, right? But if the reason we draw a crowd, I just, this, this is my dysfunction. I'm being, this is therapy for me. I'm sorry, Okay. <laughs> I know. If the reason we drew a crowd that day was because we had a bunch of children on the stage, and therefore, now this is how it works. This is a this is a technique. Let's have the children sing. Then the pastor gets to preach to a larger crowd. So people who don't get to hear the gospel normally get to hear the gospel that Sunday. There's nothing wrong with that. But do you see how the tool worked? That wasn't necessarily you being a good inviter and inviting people to hear about Jesus. That was you, your kids, inviting grandparents and parents and school teachers to come and watch them sing that one song or that two songs or that three songs. They're going to sing all these carols or whatever it is. And then they leave and you get to hear Tim now or whatever the story is. We have a bigger crowd. It's not the same. So the point I'm trying to get to is we want to live in a place where we're not from the stage or from a central office, we are creating um, statistical um, or whatever word is. We're, we're creating motivation or momentum to take place. We want to be the kind of place where individual people are choosing to follow Christ, are choosing that the Spirit of God work in them and through them. That on any given day, that God is unleashed to do exactly what he wants to do on that given day. That instead of a emotional warm fuzzy being created for you, that it's you and the Spirit of God, and it's real.